remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Rapper Young Jock was recognized by a couple of passengers who was inside of the vehicle he was driving for a ride share company called Pull Up and Go. And they called themselves putting him on blast. It's like, all right, man, you young jot, jot, you know? And they started making fun of him and they actually posted the video online. Jock did a follow-up response and he was like, I thought they was going to roast me. Uh, not the people who filmed them, but he's saying that everybody else, he's like, oh man, I'm going to get roasted. To his surprise, he received a tremendous amount of support. Jock said that he's part of this organization called Big Brothers and Sisters. I believe it's called Big Brothers and Sisters. And he said this organization has been around for 25 years. Part of his role as a big brother is to teach kids that it's okay to have a job where you can make an honest living. A lot of times, people are too proud, especially us in the black community. We're too proud to have a job that we think is beneath us. We'd rather be broke or actually bum off someone else before we just go out and get a job that is honorable. We oftentimes don't understand how honorable it is to make an honest living, an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. I can relate to young Jock because I was once in his shoes as an 18 year old cook at Kentucky Fried Chicken. I had been there only two months, but I was the best cook they'd ever seen. Managers would come from far and wide across the country to come see me, Willie Dennis, prepare the KFC special. They call it the 10, 10, 10. I can't tell y'all what it is. It's a secret recipe. I cannot tell you how we get down and how we prep it and all that stuff because I swore to secrecy. I cannot tell you how I did it, but they came from far and wide to see me. I was great. Anyway, had a flashback. Anyway, on this particular day, the regional manager shows up. This is my first time ever meeting her. She tells me to go out and check the parking lot, make sure it's clean. I don't want to check the parking lot because at right about this time is when the 77, 77 Liberty bus drives by. And that bus is packed with my schoolmates. And I don't want them to see me in this Kentucky Fried Chicken uniform checking the parking lot. So she tells me if I don't go out there and check that parking lot, I can go find somewhere else to work. I dropped what I was doing picked up my gym bag that I use for boxing. I got me a bucket of chicken and I filled it to the brim with uh, spicy chicken and original chicken. And I made me a large soda. You already know what the flavor was. That's right, strawberry. Went inside the cooler, grabbed a couple of... Uh, Puddings, they, back then they used to have chocolate pudding. Grabbed me a couple of those puddings, walked out the door, never looked back. As I look back today, I realize how big of a fool I was. Here I am earning an honest living. I ain't out robbing nobody. I ain't selling no dope. I ain't trying to hit nobody in the head. I'm earning an honest living. 
You got people on the bus who are broke. And I'm worried about what they think. When they say kids say the darnest things, kids do the darnest things. And guess what? It's not just kids. You got 30, 40, 50 year olds who still think that certain jobs are beneath them, but they ain't got two nickels to rub together. They're worried about what their former schoolmates think. Their buddies who they just used to hang out with think. Their, their little group, their clique, what they think. The only people who look down on people who earn an honest living are those who are unworthy of your respect. Those people who don't really have a clear-cut idea of what it takes to grow financially, to pick yourself up by the bootstraps, and like Jock said, do the right thing. He also said that, you know, he drives, he likes to drive. He said he thinks it's fun, it's, it's, it's good, it's challenging, it, it's a different experience. So he actually likes it. It is a very humble thing to do when you've been to the top like Jock has. He had hit records, touring, making thousands and thousands, more money in one day that he's probably going to make in one year driving that car. But it's an honest living. And personally, I actually think that more of us are starting to warm up to the idea of an honest living because we realize that these traps that they have set out there, that eventually we're going to walk right into those traps and we're not going to be able to get out of those traps. We're kind of realizing that all of this so-called hustling that we think we're doing, we're really hustling backwards because the shortcut is the work. Let me say that again. The shortcut to success, the shortcut to getting the bag, the shortcut to freedom, the shortcut to being there for your children, being free, being alive and well and free in case your mother or father needs you, in case of their demise, you're there and not locked up somewhere in a cage. That's the shortcut. An honest day's work for an honest day's pay. So I salute young Jock and every other person out there that's doing it that way because I'm gonna tell you something and I ain't wishing bad on nobody. But the same thing make you laugh will make you cry when it comes to this hustling game. I ain't telling you what I heard. I'm telling you what I know. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about?